Hello from my Android phone camera. Uh, in the last video we were talking about creating animated GIFs or GIFs uh, that we're going to uh, we're going to take some video and create an animated GIF. And uh, in the past video I'll show you two websites you can do it to, but what if you want to do it right on the phone? There's some advantages to this. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to make a short little video clip of me just poking my head in here and then poking it back out and we're going to make that into an animated loop. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's it. That was two seconds long. Sometimes I have to go in to the editor uh, in my video viewer and trim it down a little bit, maybe stabilize it, but I don't need to for this video. So now I'm going to go into Termux. Termux is the application I talked about in a previous video that uh, it's a shell environment. Check out the previous about, video about it. But I have FFmpeg installed. I also have um, the Termux API installed that allows me to access the storage on my device, which uh, allows me to access my photos. Let me real quick here make sure we have the best focus. Actually, we can zoom in more now. How about that? Focus. There we go. Now, I have a command that I have created a little shell script, which I'll try to remember to put a link to in the description of this video. And it's just a shell script that goes into the directory where my photos are stored and my videos are stored, creates a list of all the MP4s, which I only have two in there right now, I think, because I try to keep my phone clean, uh, and gives me a number of options. So let me, let me just show it to you. So I'm going to go like this, and the program, the script is called 2GIF, or 2GIF, depending on how you say it. I hit enter, it's going to list out all the mp4s in my directory, the newest one's going to be at the bottom, in this case it's going to be number one, I'm going to hit one, I'm going to hit enter, and ffmpeg is going to run. When it's done, it's going to use the Termux API to open up the animated GIF, and there it is. Now I just made this a couple days ago, I still have some optimization to do with it, but there we go, we have a little animated GIF of me, poking my head in and out. Now. Back out here, go back into my camera application here, uh, right here, Oop. yep, got it. Video camera, look at me. Now, I talked about in that video about how, let me try to focus this, in the last video that is, I guess that's good right there. I talked in the last video about how sometimes I want to do a loop uh, that reverses, so let's make a video for that. I'm just going to step out of the way here. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Let's stop that. Record. So, in that video clip, I don't move out of the shot. So, what I can do now, go back into Termux here. Go ahead and clear the screen. If I was to type stuff right, uh, yes, Z shell, thank you. I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, now go ahead and go up. And when you use Termux, you have to, um, there are certain keys you can use to use the volume keys and keys on the keyboard. For example, I was hitting volume up and W is, to, is the up arrow to scroll through your history, for example. Or if you hit uh, one of them, I forget if it's up and Q. Yeah, up and Q will give you uh, a little arrows and home and end and control, alt and tab and escape. And you can hit the volume up and Q again to make that go away. Anyway, when you get Termux, you have to learn that sort of stuff to really make it useful. But right here, we're going back to the last command, which was to GIF or to GIF, however you want to say it. If I do space R and give it the R argument, it will now take a little bit longer, but it will generate the animation forward and then it will animate it reverse and put them together. So now I'll do that. I will select that last video now. Three is the newest video here. I'll hit enter and it will go. It will take a little bit longer. Uh, it's a short little clip so it shouldn't take too long. But again, the advantage of this is you're doing it right on your phone. You're not uploading to any website so you don't have to worry about internet speeds or going to someone else's server. But there we go. There is our animation. I poke my head in and then it reverses it back. And again, as I said in a previous video, it's very important to me to have clean, crisp 
loops where they're not jerky. I mean, if they're if they're if there is you know, it doesn't have to be. But I just love a good animation that loops cleanly like this, where you can't tell where the beginning and end are. So. I will post that link. I already have it posted on Pastebin. I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description of this video. Try to focus here a little bit. And uh, so you can get that. And I still need to uh, modify it a little bit. It is making, uh, I have it set, it makes it the full resolution, which is 1080p uh, of, of what I record, or whatever resolution you record the video at, which really isn't necessary for a GIF file. So I might try to cut that down in size because they are kind of large. Um, and, uh, but that's it. I just thought I'd share this with you. I hope you enjoyed this visit video. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.